up, YouTube? It's your boy, Riku the Best. Better than the rest, AKA the Dark Knight. You call me that, you racist. Nah, I'm the last one to use racist. You, you go for today. Coming at you with another Dragon Ball Legends discussion video. We're gonna talk about four specific topics today, okay? Five topics. One, saying it in red. Is he gonna be an actual card in the game? Two, Charlotte and the friendship system. When will he be able to learn super attacks? Three, we're gonna talk about level cap in this game. When will it increase? It will definitely, level 1000 is not the max level by the way. Four, Android 18, 17 of course. We don't know if they're gonna be next, but they will be coming to Dokkan. I meant Legends, not Dokkan. However, number six is talking about transformations. I never stated that at the beginning of this video as a topic to discuss. However, I did talk about it at the end of the video. We're just gonna talk about possible banner ideas and stuff, so yes. Social media is gonna be at the top. Follow any of those platforms if you still haven't have it. And let's get on with the video, okay? So first thing I wanna talk about is moving the Saiyan Red down, Charlotte and the friendship system. I'm very curious about this. I've learned more and more about the friendship system. If you notice, Charlotte does not have a meter to where his friendship goes up. So that means it's gonna be for him and he will be able to learn other unit super attack. However, you will have to check to see that unit and see if the super attack is teachable. Not everybody can teach a super attack to Charlotte. Now he cannot learn everyone's super attack. For example, I believe he cannot learn, he cannot learn the Spear Bomb Goku super attack from the Rare Metal Shop. He cannot learn a super attack. So not everyone he can learn a special attack from. He can learn Piccolo special beam cannon, I believe. He definitely can learn Goku's super Kamea. He can learn Vegeta's Gallic Gun. And one of my favorites, he can learn Pycon's Fire Kick, which has a chance to faint. I believe he can learn Broly. I don't have Broly. So let me know if he can learn Broly's super attack. I think I've seen it, that he can actually teach Charlotte his super, what was it, blaster shell or something? Omega blaster, I don't have him, so I wouldn't know. But yes, he can, Learn those super attacks, not all, but you have to check and see. When will that come over? When will the update happen for Charlotte? Charlotte is of course increasingly getting better. He has his own gold equipment now, yes. He has another limit break, of course, with the most recent story mode with Dark Kratos being level 1,500. So his limit broke into two stars. When will he be able to learn super attacks? Maybe at three stars, maybe at four stars, maybe at five stars. How long will it take him to get to seven stars, honestly? Will he be the only unit in the game to maybe have a transformation? and a rarity increase, for example, he transforms into Super Saiyan, and then that's a separate card after you max out the first one, however long that may take, or if it will even work like this, and maybe become like an extreme card, but still free. But Super Saiyan, that'd be a nice idea. How would that work, honestly, I don't know. When will we get that feature to where Shelly can learn Super Attacks? That's what I'm wondering right now. Two, now we're gonna talk about the Saiyan in Red. Of course, the Saiyan in Red was the guy in story mode, pretty much just looked like a dark version of Shelly. Will it become his own card? Will he be the extreme unit that I was talking about with Charlotte? Will he be, will he be in banners? Will he have his own event? I'm thinking he may have his own event like the hero and certain other extreme units have. Like the first one, Frieza, extreme one has his own event. It's actually out now. I'm thinking he may have something like that, you know, the Saiyan in red, but extreme rarity, of course, he's in a data files as an extreme. That could change, you know, they already have a Super Saiyan Goku as well and a Super Saiyan Trunks, but they didn't use those characters. They used a different Super Saiyan Trunks with a different, I think that Trunks had the same color, the one from Tutorial, but that's something else. But that's what I'm saying, they could change it from the ones that's already in data files and stuff. So, I'm looking forward to seeing the red to see if they're gonna do something with them, you know? Really like Dark Charlotte, honestly, if you ask me, but we don't know, we didn't take the hood off, so he's the Saiyan in red, okay? Three, level cap. The main thing I wanna stress right now is level cap, honestly. We are able to get to max level 1000, correct? The event they recently put out not event, it's just an update. Hard mode with the Reddit's event. The EX6, EX5 stages are increasingly harder because the enemies are level 1000 plus. They're even harder than level 1500 Reddit's in the story mode. Why? It's because they deal a lot of damage and plus is more than one of them. You have to fight three. Not even that. The challenges is impossible. It's not impossible, but yes, you will need Broly or you will need a lot of luck. It's as if they made the hard mode for the Reddit's event impossible EX5, EX6. To skip ticket, the challenges are insane. You have to use two or more red units for EX5, I believe. I think it's the same for EX6. But even with type of vintage units, even with purple Vegeta, purple Turles, or purple Goku, or all three of them, it's gonna be still slightly hard. They're gonna do a lot of damage to you regardless of type advantage, type disadvantage. It's literally no different than Dokkan Battle to when you do Super Battle Road 
with a certain type and you still take so much damage but you have type advantage it's literally that it's literally like that damage wise you're gonna do trash damage because they are above level 1000 they are above 600,000 HP for Christ's sake so you're not gonna do anything to them hell I've gotten three rising rush in one fight on EX6 I think that's how I beat it I still don't know to this day how the hell I beat it. that's probably why so what I'm thinking is they should really give us a level cap increase to at least 1,500 so we can have a chance to skip ticket the event before it goes away because I don't think it's around for too much longer. I have to double check. Do not quote me. However, it is hard as hell to beat with the units. My Vegeta, I'm pretty sure everyone else's Vegeta, if you boost them up, is maxed out in the soul boost system. He does trash damage to these units on EX6. Honestly, that's what I'm thinking. We should really get a level cap increase because EX6, EX5 is impossible to skip ticket it's really impossible to complete all the challenges that they give you it's really impossible i think ex6 you have to use blue units or something it's damn near impossible if you beat it i will give you a hug right now give me your address i'm pulling up bruh and i'm about to give you this kiss that's how it is android 18 android 17 they have been shown in the latest scan or whatnot with along with other things like fighters and I believe they show something with Dokkan and show something from the Dragon Ball Super movie. 17, 18 will come out. I heard some stuff that Android 17 will be able to negate damage. I'm not sure if that's true. I don't know if they found it like in the data files or if it's just pure speculation. I just don't know. However, if they are banner characters, which I don't think they are, but who will see? I, of course, want them both to be sparking, but I wouldn't know who else to be in the banner. They could throw in another Krillin. They could throw in another trunks they could throw in android 16 they could throw in a couple of other androids characters or anybody from the android saga and throw in some filler characters like throwing pan again or throwing again you throw in super saiyan goku stuff like that honestly it's up for grabs honestly i don't even know if it's going to be a banner if it said in a scan i must have missed it then but that's a perspective if they were to be in a banner however if they are going to be an event like ex phrase as i just said a couple of minutes ago that would be amazing. You have to farm for them. Of course, make that hard. You know, give hard challenges, not impossible damn challenges, but difficult challenges enough to make us try to get them. So if they do come out and they're accessible by events, that's going to be great. You can get two free Sparky units. They'd be giving us a lot of free EX units. They've been very generous. EX Frieza, EX Goku, EX Krillin. It's available now. Once you get enough of the souls, and pvp of course you get 50 if you win 20 if you lose something like that from pvp but that'd be nice if they were in the event rather than banner so that'll be completely nice and the fourth topic i want to talk about is transformations do you guys think this game should have mid gameplay like in-game transformations as in you have a card being able to transform into something else would you guys like transformations and legends it will work it, it could work. It could actually work. The idea of it on paper, it sounds like it can work, you know? But personally, for me, I have a hard time not believing they can put it in the game, but believing I have a hard time of, like, thinking how it could actually work without lessening the amount of cards they bring to the game. Because the main example I bring up is you have a base Goku, you have a Super Saiyan Goku in the game right now, EX Goku, Sparking Goku, yada yada. If you were to have that card transform, you would pretty much just have two cards in one, you know? You have less cards to put into the game. However, I didn't say that with like every card. That's not in perspective. If every card were to have a transformation ability, you know, that would definitely decrease the amount of cards they can put into the game because there'd be no purpose of putting Super Saiyan cards in the game if a base form can transform. That's the idea that, you know, I had in my head. Head, head, you see what I did there? So what would you guys think about transformations in Dragon Ball Legends? You know, some other possibilities of how it could work is maybe some limitation hp restriction some type of restriction to where if you go below now nah, we're not doing that think of some ways you guys of how transformation could work in legends honestly i'm fine without it separate cards separate transformations that's fine with me of course like i said it doesn't have to be with every card with the the, the base form transforms in the super sam but it still will less than the amount of cards they can put into the game that's from my perspective that's all i have for today's video if you have any question about anything I've talked about today between the Saiyan and Red, the friendship with Charlotte learning super attacks from certain units, the level cap increase to beat hard events or impossible events at the moment, and Android 17 as well as Android 18, Android 17 possibly being in the banner or being event that you have to do that you get for free 
or the transformations that we just briefly discussed. Thank you guys for watching. Jana, bye.